I'm saying? Uh, Cause, like, okay. I would think right here would probably be a good time to be like, hello everyone, this is on the ball or camel. Okay, wait, 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 start, okay, just start right now. Start, right. start Hello here. everyone, this is camel try, as known in Japan or on the ball, as known in America. Uh, right now we're doing a category called fourth plane. Basically the game is separated into a hundred levels or worlds as they're referred to in the game. And each of these uh, hundred worlds is separated into four, or oh, these hundred worlds are separated into four different planes. We're doing fourth plane, which is the last one. So you see, he just entered a password to get to the last plane, uh, and he's about to start. Right? Oh, sorry. Um, how should I? What should I talk about after that? I guess the. I guess what the game is. That's probably. Yeah. Right. <laughs> all right. Um, just, yeah. All right. So he entered the password to get to the fourth plane, which is the last and final, or er, last and most difficult for a casual player. Um, yeah. This game is basically a 2D marble game. It's similar to Super Monkey Ball in that you, you actually control the course rather than the actual ball itself, and you want the ball to get into a goal. Basically, you have to move the course, rotate the course left or right, and you can combine controls to either make it turn uh, left or right faster, uh, and you could also do things like jump, which increases speed uh, intentionally by game design. So we're going to begin right now. Uh, I'm sorry, did you, uh, that was that was pretty bad, honestly. <laughs> uh, but uh, we're okay. gonna begin right now, and uh, just for op just to be optimal, we're starting a beginner course, ending at uh, master course. So, as you can see, there's a few different mechanics uh, than from my simple explanation. We can see that these there are red tiles that appear. Those are basically gravity walls that increase gravity at a certain point, uh, depending on which way the gravity, which way the uh, tile is flowing. So most of the time they're flowing in the opposite direction in order to uh, make the player have a harder time getting across the level. But using uh, the mechanics of the game, you could actually uh, hold down jump and get through most of them pretty easily. So as you can see, uh, you reach the goal and therefore you complete a level, or a world as we call this game. This level is interesting in that you could actually skip more than half of it by exploiting the way that uh, jump mechanics work. Basically, that part of the level is supposed to fling you back to the beginning, but instead he bypassed it and went to the end of the level. Uh, so you can see he beat that much more quickly than you would as a casual player. Alright, here we're introducing a mechanic called uh, reverse gravity, and basically uh, it's the same thing as the gravity reverse. This, uh, Sorry. <laughs> I, it's, it's hard to talk for. I also like, I don't want to like talk the, literally the entire time. Well, I'm I'm usually too busy concentrating. So if you need to talk time, hold on, that'd be fine. All right. Uh, this level is pretty self-explanatory in that. Uh, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Nothing. Nothing super special going on here. Hmm. Alright, he didn't get hit by those bumpers, that's a bit of a problem area. And these bumpers are primary, they're, primary they're too. Bad. You could also mention those bumpers, they can be bad too. Yeah, I mean like, also I might, if a level's particularly boring, I might, uh, I might make a certain challenge that's not really hard at all, seems <laughs> a little bit more hard. Oh. Those, those bumpers are not actually a big problem, but I had nothing else to say. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. Uh, so, okay. I've gotten tripped up by them, like, very few times. Okay, so this is expert. Okay, of course. Oh, so, as you can see here, he's not actually turning the course the entire way. This is because the ga game actually restricts gravity at certain points. So he can only turn uh, roughly 30 degrees in one direction and 30 degrees in the other. Uh, as you can see, he also made it through some stop signs, or some signs that say stop and go. Basically, we refer to these as, they, they work in a global timer, so you can actually make certain cycles, depending on how fast you go, so those are very important in running this game. Alright, so really, you could, you could actually tell how well you're doing, uh... Yeah! Made that! Out. You went the wrong way, didn't you? No, that was the right way. I made it. Oh, really? I'm, that was that would be a good level. Oh, okay. For some reason, I always go. I always go left. Yeah, that's, that's the fast. Wrong. That's the fastest way. Okay. Uh. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Oh, so this level is actually 
uh, really scary if you're a casual player because uh, you essentially go down really fast and blindly uh, either accept losing in-game time or gaining in-game time. However, uh, we've basically developed a strat which is going to the, they're hugging the right side of the level, which uh, completely negates this. Oh, I, I completely forgot to mention uh, hugging the walls, but I guess, this is, is this the first level you hug the walls? Uh, you do it in, in, be, in beginner, beginner three, you do that in beginner three, and, and you do it in, in expert two, expert two as well, that, that'd be a good time, thing to talk about there. Okay, yeah, so I, I guess, even though you hug the walls, I won't really mention it, so I have a better, um, uh, Ah. Because, like, again, each level, I could talk about the level, but there's only a few seconds. Like, each world, sorry, I keep saying level. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah, okay, so. And there's not really much to explain this level anyway. Uh. Okay. Just if you make this cycle, that's a hard cycle to make. Yeah. Okay, at least I made that one. Uh. I may, I may like make a few, like, I might note if a certain cycle is hard to make, if I, and I don't always get it, like if I make it when I don't usually, so I might note that after I'm finished with the level. Yeah. Like, but during the levels I probably won't be, won't be talking any. Yeah, okay. Do you, have, is this a new event, or is this happened last year? This is a new event. Okay, I was going to say, I don't know how much, how many viewers it's going to have. Uh, all right. Made the cycle? Uh, no, no, we didn't. No, I didn't. We didn't. Okay. Uh, I, I'm not, I'm not saying no, we didn't. But, uh, I just feel like, uh, alright, so uh, as you can see, there's a lot of references to camels. Uh, that's because obviously this game is called Camel Try. They wanted to be as goofy as possible with it. You might notice some familiar characters in the background. This is made by the same developers as Bubble Bobble, so they're actually referenced quite a lot in this game. Mm. I could probably mention the word Taito in that sentence, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I guess you can just mention how easy that level is. You can just mention how easy it is for where it is. Like, that's a really easy level. Unusually easy. Honestly, I, th I think that having... Er, Alright, so this level is actually very important because... Uh, nice. The optimal time is around four seconds. And uh, <sighs> if you actually take the normal way, it could take upwards of 25 seconds. So mm -hmm. this is a huge time save mm -hmm. from uh, casual to speedrun. I, I was going to say, I don't have to be talking literally in every world. I don't think mm. there's uh, much value in me literally not stop, not stopping talking. Yeah, know. yeah. You you don't have to talk the whole time the, during every world. Yeah. I, <laughs> I think I should. Uh, I should talk, but I shouldn't talk. Like, yeah. You, you get what I'm saying. All right. He. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess I could say you really don't want to go around. Okay? Yeah. If, yeah. If you're, if you're a runner, you really shouldn't be going uh, around in there. It's really easy to skip. Alright, yeah. uh, so you're going to see he's going to hug the walls and he's going to jump. Uh, this is because how the game works, if you jump while holding the walls, uh, you go much faster than just falling, even falling holding the jumps. So we use that trick a lot in levels with thin, narrow walls in order to uh, exploit the game's mechanics. So if you were actually doing this level without holding the walls and jumping, even if you had a very optimal uh, turning, you would probably not... Go, or you probably not even be half of that. Well, a standard time for me is usually a little over 50 seconds if I don't do that strat. Or about 50 seconds or so. So it, it's really not that much faster, I guess. She's, okay. Yeah. Hmm. I actually didn't know that. Uh, that was much faster. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess you're not holding, I would say, slightly less than 1.5 times as fast. Like yeah, like, maybe. Yeah, because I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean double the speed. Or, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Alright, here we are with another reverse gravity level. This one, <coughs> uh, that cycle is very hard to make. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Really, besides making that cycle, the hardest thing is avoiding bumpers. Because bumpers, especially when you're going fast, uh, since they really just reflect the amount of speed you're going, uh, the faster you are, the higher consequence you have for hitting bumpers. Uh, yeah, those bumpers. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Ok, 
Okay. <sighs> Alright, so we're done with two out of four courses. No, no, no. Wait, do we only do one? No, we done we done three oh, courses. Three. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> but speed runs so fast, I didn't even know. <laughs> Alright, so we're on the final course here. Uh, so this level is actually very technical. Uh, there isn't much uh, exploiting going on, but there's a lot of thin pathways, such as here. If you mess up even the yeah. thing, you actually lose a lot of time. Yeah, it, you ultimately you don't want to hit the thing any. You, that, that's how you want it to be. Yeah, like that or. In a normal run, would you start this course first? Uh, I don't know. Ah, you don't want to go there. Yeah. Uh, um, I mean, as their name suggests, like the gravity walls, they really suck you in once you get there, especially yeah. if you're not holding down A. Uh, so, in that case, you really couldn't avoid the going to yeah. that detour. Yeah. Well, if you're in reverse gravity, it's even hard to get out, I, I think. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think the thing with reverse gravity... Oh, okay. You can uh, take that cycle. I, don't uh, I think the thing with reverse gravity, I just find it harder because you have less reaction time. Yeah. I wonder how long this run is so far. Uh, I, I couldn't tell you. Uh, okay, there, I guess there's really not much to talk about in this course. Well, except that cycle, maybe. Uh, okay, yeah, this course, I guess. Yeah. Alright, Adventure 2 uh, is one of the most important levels in this run just because each mistake is extremely costly. That's, that's why you see a few runners actually do a uh, special course first. Because um, mistakes, especially because there's restricted gravity, uh, tend to make it so you have to do the entire section over or do it from a disadvantaged angle or speed. Uh, because of that, um, this is probably one of the scariest levels in the run. As you can see, you just skipped over an entire section oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> by using the games, using the level against its own design. I don't uh. know. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of what to say. <laughs> uh, this level, is, you'll see, is a. Uh, Quite short compared to the rest of the levels in this one. I should say in this course, not this one. Because there's uh, that in, course. In the course. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, this is another fun one. Uh, basically, a few of these levels just have the concept of going fast, as you saw in the last one, Super Highway. Uh, there's a GP theme in a lot of yeah. this game. Uh, that one's specifically hard for a casual just because there's so many uh, axes on the sides that'll make you lose in-game time. Again, in-game time is not really a concern to any of these runners. We almost mostly start with max in-game time from every single world, besides the first one. But we'll see at the end here, <coughs> but uh, the end of this level one of the most challenging uh, parts of the plane. Alright, he actually was able yes. to make a pass. That's one of the hardest places to recover from in the game. Uh, okay, and you go on the second one. Alright, this is a recently discovered fast trap for this section. And I kind of messed it up. <laughs> uh, like, ultimately you would just... Uh, like... Yeah, ultimately you would you would like you would you would just fly through that entire thing, but I hit the block, so yeah. I slowed down a lot. It's, it's, <laughs> it takes practice to fly through that entire thing. Yeah. All right, this level actually has a shortcut. We'll see if he does. No. Fly. It's really circumstantial. Yeah. Uh, basically, he has to have a good setup, and that good setup is not really intentional. Uh, yeah. The setup actually say, oh, he actually didn't see. Uh, shit. <laughs> 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 Oh, sorry. Is your, does your channel have any, like, uh, rules against swearing or anything like that? No, 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 no. I do it sometimes, too. So, yeah, I can't really have that. <laughs> I'll try to have some discussion. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Sometimes I forget I'm streaming. Also, I'm definitely during the actual run, I'm going to try to be the most PG possible. I'll try. Yeah. Because I, I don't even know, that, like, I mean, ATDQ is weird because they play M-rated games. Uh, yeah. But they still have a very PG tone. I'm uh, not sure, like, most okay. SNES games are pretty innocent. 
Yeah. I, I don't really want to set an R-rated tone for this. Yeah, 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 you're right. I don't, I'm trying to make it kind of get towards family friendly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But anyway, yeah, last level. This is the last level of the game. Interestingly enough, this is one of the only version differences from the Japanese and the English game. Uh, basically, this level is completely different in the uh, Japanese and American version of the game. Uh, yeah. The American one features a much longer level, but it's less technical in that it doesn't have many punishing things like those claw sections you saw. Uh, but really, if you're a speedrunner, you want the Japanese version, not only because this level saves 10 seconds uh, versus the American last level of this plane, but uh, loading times make this cartridge ideal as uh, per plane you save roughly 15 seconds and uh, if you're doing an all plane run that's 60 seconds. Oh. Alright, there we go, that's the run. What was that? Uh, what we just witnessed broke both of the world records, so... It may have been, seriously. Really? I don't know. Like, the special course wasn't too good, but I don't know. The thing is, the thing is I can literally go on your Broadcasts, broadcasts, and then, uh, like, cause, cause literally, like, it, it shows the broadcast you just did. I can see the start time, I can see the end time. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I think that might have been pretty close. Like, I, my special wasn't too good. What's the, what's the world record? Uh, 14, 1427. 1427. Hmm. Alright, so. I want to know my, my end game time, end game time for this. I, for Master, I think it was probably really good. So basically, um, you started the run, 36 minutes, Wait, hold on one second. I hope that the, like, the hitting the last goal actually is on the past podcast, though. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, it's going to have the same start time at least for the run. 3.53. So, so 37.04 is when you started it. It was close, probably. Yeah. It was really close, I think. Like, I think I lost 13 seconds in Master 